He said, I got you at 4,000 feet. I got you at 3,000 feet also. Shit, goddamn, you got me twice, nigga. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts hang. I know that ain't who I think it is. What to do everyday people, man. It's your boy PJ, and we are. My nigga, we are at, uh. Wayne Cold Foods. That's a late night run. You know what I'm saying? Nigga had to tuck the baby in. To go to Winco. That's how you do it. Well, I gotta get a few things for the house and I also gotta get uh damn I need my wallet home. Damn, I left my wallet today at home. I had a kid got a hold of it and lost all my shit. So I spent the whole evening looking for it, mad, pissed off. Lost my debit card, lost my ID, lost my weed card. Shit. Lost my Sam's card, lost all that shit. So, we gotta get some bread. I think I'm gonna get that last. Only thing to win coat for the patient. I gotta go to press tomorrow. At some point. Also tonight, I might I might let y'all watch. I might tune y'all in. I gotta get rid of some clothes. So what I get? This motherfucker said apples. All right, so we need some apple, celery, and cucumber. Those are the first things on the list. Oh, I need to get some of them peppers. So they ninety. Eight cents. Well, these don't look pleasing. Just be honest. But these are the good ones. I don't like them red ones. They be too hard. Golden delicious. Oh Jesus! Let's find some good ones in here. I only got like a couple days left in a week. I don't even know how she eat these motherfuckers. That's a good one. Yeah, shit, that's a good one. on the green one. There's a cucumbers right there. Fifty cent fifty eight cents each. It's not bad. Shit got apple, celery, cucumbers, stuff of pasta pickles, oil, sausage, alright, bacon, hamburger meat. Bread. So, cucumbers for the pasta. We got shredded cheese. We got some little things. I need to get some pickles for the pasta. All right. <clears throat> so you see how much they turkey legs is? Eight sixty. The only way, unless you already got something smoking, it's gonna take a long time to smoke that bitch. And that's why I cook them. Because people can get them for the low. People can get them for $15. Basically, you just paying me to cook it for you. That's pretty much it. So, I mean, uh, I, I encourage everybody to try and make their own turkey leg at least once in your lifetime. But, you know, if push come to shove, just buy it from me. You know what I'm saying? How much is this shit? $40, I ain't paying $40 for no goddamn bacon. Goddamn. Give me half of that. This is 20 Son of Valley Uncured. Pepper, bacon, apple food. That ain't a lot. 
hot though for ten dollars. Man, she gonna be mad, but she gonna have to watch this video. I'm like, we ain't see your bacon. Stop tripping. Um, Sun Valley. I think I should just buy the twenty pack, cause hell. dollars that's a down bro I'm well I'm gonna be twenty dollars nigga and be watching this goddamn bacon nigga how many slices you put in that uh use two use two motherfucker see this is where I came and got so you can get the raw ones I mean they smoke but they already like they like raw pretty much so you gotta do all the smoking. You know what I'm saying? That's they they more expensive though, they bigger, but I need to get they uh connect. Well shit. Alright, I'm finna go get this these last few things. And then I'll see y'all at the dispensary, alright? That's where we're gonna be at next, the dispensary. The next day. What it do everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ and I got my special guests in the back seat. As always, man, we just handling business. Today I got on my purple uh Grand Mason Lodge meeting shirt that we had for this past weekend. I got this on for a special reason because all the donations that we took and we get uh that we took for the kids. Uh, we are going to be giving those to the school and uh, I remember I did the backpack drive from the turkey leg cabana so that was a real thing and we still got we had I split mines between that and this so there you have it We're going on to this and uh, I should have some more donations man we got some more the backpacks and everything we still got some of them but uh you know waiting on my cousin to get those shit might as well say those for next year and uh all right man i caught uh, I'm, i don't know if i'm gonna show too much of the school because i don't want to put all that shit on and i don't know how other people be feeling about the school and kids and shit like that i don't play with them so from me and it showed you at 76 mile an hour and then you the last time you were 1374 feet from me and it showed you at 77. I don't think I was going 66. I was looking at my speed. I was going I was following behind another truck. 
Man, I don't think I was going 76 miles per hour because I was looking at my speedometer. Then I seen when you was, because I was getting over. I wasn't even trying to, yeah. I wasn't passing. I'm just kind of watching the vehicles as, as they came to me. And I, I sat there and I identified your vehicle. Uh, can I see your driver's license, please, yeah. sir? Trying to get to these to the school. I'm it's, trying to. It's don't. pretty loud. Can you, oh, can you roll that up, and I might be able to hear you just a little better. Yeah, I'll say I was trying to get to the school because I've got these uh, donations that I'm trying to get to them. Okay. Because they're about to have a parade. And they uh. Okay. I'll, I'll try to expedite this okay. as quick as I can. Okay. Can I get a phone number for you, please? Four five. God damn, man. Oh baby, what you think? And they got me going 76. And he said 77. I was smashing though. I was trying to get there, man. But at the same time, I'm I'm looking at this truck next to me. And I'm like, this dude is hauling ass because he got all this weight on his trailer. And I was really trying to get around him. And once I got past him, I was like, shit, let me go on ahead. But that, that dude, that was a big ass trailer. So I don't know. I, I wasn't about to explain that shit to him, though. Because that would have been admitting that I was speed. <laughs> but I was like, man, I looked at my speedometer. Because I slowed down once I passed, dude. But obviously, I didn't slow down fast enough. Maybe he got me further than what I was thinking. He said he was gonna expedite it. He said, I got you at 4,000 feet. I got you at 3,000 feet also. Shit, goddamn, you got me twice, nigga. <laughs> Where did he get me from? Jeez. He pulled me over in the ram. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a ram, though. Everyday people, man. This your boy PJ, and we got a baby back there. She she okay, man. The police didn't kill us, man. You know what I'm saying? I did get a ticket though. He said it's gonna be a hundred dollars instead of like two sixty five. But shit, one to ten miles over the speed limit. That's basically speeding like a mug. I was flying, but I was trying to get around this big old truck hauling this big old. Uh, it was a big old truck hauling a big, uh, you know, not a dumpster, but like one of them backhoe things. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, so I was speed, but anyway, I gotta go over here to this uh turkey or uh, to this restaurant depot now. I really gotta make some money now. Shit, I done got this damn ticket, man. That shit sucks, dude. Like that's exactly what I needed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, cut into everything else. So I gotta hustle harder. I got some money coming. I got some more money coming, and then, man, you know I got, I got some other shit to figure out soon. Y'all gonna see all the good news. Just stick with me. We're gonna get to this place. My nose is the beast. The wind is windy, and my allergies is kicking right now. So I look, I look crazy. So I'm gonna get off of this mug because I don't look right. And I probably, you know, I holler at y'all later.